Hey everybody, welcome to day two of the Golden Goblet. We're going to be playing Kid Icarus today. Let me tell you, every time I hear, I think of Kid Icarus, I go... Let's compare. I know this one. Oh, oh, it's a slapper. Multi-layered. It's got a little bass, you hear that? How do they get the bass on the sound chip? Ooh. Yo, wish I could hear what he's playing. He's off the map. Yo, that's legit. Anyway, um, what do I know about Kate Icarus? Uh, you move up. That's about it. One second, I'm trying to get the 15 minute timer, please. Thank you, start. Okay, we jump, and we shoot. It was kind of like Donkey Kong, but with better music. Look at how much HP we j Oh, that's not HP. Wait, this is before hearts were standardized as HP in every game. Um, am I losing my mind? You don't even go into the door, you just walk by it, that's so good. Um, so like, what do, what do you do? Oh, you can walk around the screen, of course! What was I thinking? So this is like Ice Walkers? <laughs> is that an apt way to describe this game? It's like Ice Climbers, but you're walking instead of climbing? Uh... Excuse me, is that the demon from Big Trouble in Little China? Alright, well now that I know is just climb as high as possible. I feel like we would be a fool. What? Are we running out of time? Oh, there's like a temporary... Okay, I understand, kind of. We, had, we, we used like a Pac-Man style power pellet or something. That's what the harp did. All right, I get it, I get it. Just climb as high as possible. You're doing it. Look at that. Bro. I'm finished! Sacred words. E-O-B. Okay, um, let's go faster this time, shall we? Kid Icarus is one of those ones I have heard Dan say some very positive things about Kid Icarus. I'm not saying it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. You gotta keep in mind, like, when it was made. It's not my favorite NES game, though. I'm also kind of like... For Kid Icarus having such a small footprint and legacy... Why does it get so many Smash characters? Pit, Dark Pit, Palatina... Like, come on. Are those keys? Maybe we need to turn them into keys. Use the keys to enter some doors later? I don't know, man. Beats me. Yo, we... Hope you like the song. Okay, we... Th this is a very important mor moment. This is a very important moment for us to regroup and recognize that at some point in the future we're gonna wish that we did better on the NES Golden Goblet Part 2 instead of going through all that regret what if we just visualized us climbing up this freaking I don't even know it's like half dirt half stone what if we visualized ourselves climbing up over this and just made it come to pass did you- there's air control in this game. I didn't know they invented the air control module for NES by this point. Yo, free keys. Way to go, dummy. Oh, baby. I don't know what they do, but we want them. You know what? This time, work with me. Let's- let's take the right path and go like this. He's doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We've gone through the door. On the door, there are many nose demons.
Many, many nose demons. Oh, we were so close. Hi, come on. Let's go. Dude, I'm so good. Do we get like a kiss from Paludina? Oh, we don't even get the heart apparently. All right. What a waste of my time. <laughs> good. 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 Oh! What the heck is going on here? NES slowdown, dude. What is happening? When I shoot him, maybe he creates those ghosts? I have no clue. I'm just gonna level with you. I, I ain't got the foggiest idea what the heck happened there. I skipped that door because I'm just trying to make some progress up Purple Brick Mountain here. We got our HP back somehow? Alright. I'll take it. So, like, don't let these guys spot you or something? You think maybe that's... You know, you're not gonna bother me, I'm not gonna bother you. You take two hits. No, let's go. Let's go. He's doing it, dude. This is the furthest anybody has ever made it in this game. Little known fact. We need to get a double jump. We beat a... There's levels in Kid Icarus? We still got nine minutes left. We can do some real damage. Now, I always say stuff like that. And then my competitors put down, like, a better performance in this game than in any game in history. But you know what? That's the cost of doing business. I don't want to be in here anymore. I also have to say, Malf has impressed me greatly with his gaming skill recently. That's not to meant... I'm finished. That's not meant to be an insult to Dan. Um, but he got really good at Mario Maker really fast. Okay. Oh, we get to start here again. Like, he's, he's a legitimate gamer. I used to think I was better at games than him. And I think I was. But the power of being a full-time streamer has made him stronger than I ever could have imagined. It turns out I was not actually uh, better at video games. I was just afforded more opportunities to play them. Really makes you think. Hey, can you stop swarming me? What about Blue Door? Um, what do you say? Try buying from me. <laughs> they didn't have writers back in the day, okay? They just they, the programmer was like, oh, "We need some text for level three shop." Oh my god, I lived. I go, I go, I go. Get out of here, beholders. So he definitely looked at me. That's definitely what causes that. Run, brother. Look at this. No! I'm finished. I'll tell you, that's what I'm gonna be saying when we're done with this episode. I don't... I feel like there is a low chance I will be returning to the world of Kid Icarus. I did hear... Is it Kid Icarus Uprising? For the 3DS? I did hear that was pretty good. You get it? It's like a pun. Uprising. Because you... You know, in the original game, you're climbing up. I feel like Kid Icarus was always that game where, like... I really hope, by the way, that Dan is like, Kid Icarus is so good! Because what I'm about to say will sound hilarious. But I feel like Kid Icarus is always one of those games where you, like, ask the kid at school, you know... You go like, hey, what's your favorite NES game? And everyone's like, Mario, 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 Zelda, Zelda, Castlevania. And then one kid's like, hey guys, have you ever played Kid Icarus? And you're like, what? Yeah, my dad got me Kid Icarus. It's pretty good. You play as Pit. He's a... I don't really know what his deal is, to be honest, but he jumps. And doesn't afraid of anything. He has a bow that has no range attached to it. I feel like we're playing as, as Cupid. And we're trying to, like, match up 
John Connor's parents. So that they meet and save the human race from the Terminators. You know what I mean? <laughs> the ice is icy. In case you're curious about the mechanics of the ice in uh, Kid Icarus, it turns out the ice is icy. I'm willing to say, I'll, I'll fall on the sword of this one. Take my bronze, Kid Icarus, leave it back in 1986. Kid Icarus is unworthy of the modern gaming attention that we're giving it right now. You may you remake it. Johnny Depp as Pip. Helena Bonham Carter as Paludina. Sure, I'll watch that. There's one huge bonus I'll give this game that you can never take away. It might actually have amongst the best music of NES games. Of any NES game. I'm not saying as the best. Because I think, you know... Oh my god, we lived. I think Zelda 1 is an all-time classic. However, the music in Kid Icarus, as much as I'm not enjoying the icy mechanics, the music in Kid Icarus is a legitimate bop. And I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid. What, why should I be afraid to utter the truth? Don't look at me. Don't look at me! The ice is icy, dude. Be careful. Dunk at the dunk, dunk, dunk the dunk, dunk. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. Oh, we almost got the frame perfect on that one. Like, didn't they use these blue dinosaur enemies in, uh, in Super Mario World? Is that what happened with these? Did you see that incredible jump, though? Followed by that incredible jump, but for different reasons. I'm finished. Where are we at here, time-wise? Three minutes and 35 seconds. I truly believe if you rushed it down, you could get to the top of this Kid Icarus level. But I also believe that somebody involved in the Golden Goblet is probably an accidental uh, Kid Icarus genius. It wouldn't surprise me right now if Malf is like, he's on level 8. And he's like, well, I thought we did okay. You know that... That malphism. I do like when we get some speed going though. When we when we don't shoot enemies and instead treat this exclusively as a jump up and down simulator, which is probably the way we should have been doing it to begin with. I like what we got. I mean the bow is just it's embarrassing. Whoops. I'm finished. By the way, I'm finished. Um, okay, so there's health up there. So what do you do? You just sprint. Like, why give him a bow? It has, like, less range than a dagger. It doesn't make sense. I gotta start my own Angry Dude YouTube channel. The bow freaking sucks, dude. They'd be better off giving him a barrel full of bull caca. I don't mean to hate on the angry review channels. It's just, it's... I know some of them are still around and, and kicking, but it's just kind of a different era of YouTube. Now it's all Fortnite mega builds. And prank calling the grandma. I don't know if that's true. Either way, I'd give anything to go back. Yeah, that's what I want, is to go into this door and be lambasted by, you know, a Las Vegas magician. May I help you? We have everything. You have three things. Your store carries three supplies. What a ridiculous statement. We have everything. This is the hardest jump in Kid Icarus history. Why would you do it? I'm finished. We have one minute and 15 seconds. You know, I can't deny that we have lost two runs in the last three and a half minutes. It's not the strongest start to the Golden Goblet for me, but I'm telling you, when we get to the sports games, there's a chance. These events, it's like the Winter Olympics, you know? At the start of it, it's all... cross-country skiing. 
and you're like, man, Norway's really good. And then at the end of it, when the real events start happening, you're like, oh, they still won. Okay. See, you thought it was you thought it was a burn, Norway, but actually it was quite the compliment. Now I'm not saying that you guys came first in the 2018 Winter Olympics because there's 900 events with cross-country skiing that may also involve shooting a gun simultaneously, but I'm not not saying it. You can't make that jump, but I feel like you should be able to. Okay, so I mean, this is about as far as we got. The, the timer's gonna go off any second now. Focus, focus. I'll pause it as soon as it goes off, for the record. Oh my god. You turn to face me! Help. Jump him, dude! Let's go! We're still alive. Okay. I just want to see how far we can get. Like, at this point... We've only got, you know, one hit left and hard star currency in this game. <laughs> I'm finished. For now, thanks for watching. You know the deal. If you enjoyed the episode, subscribe. If you want to see more in the future, subscribe. Leave a comment. I'll be replying. I apologize in advance for all the people who love Kid Icarus. I just don't know what I'm doing. That's pretty much what it came down to. This might be my most embarrassing Golden Goblin performance ever. Apart from that, I'd love to see these episodes somewhere in that 2,000-like range if you're hyped up for it. Let's say 1,700 because I really stunk it up this time. But for now, thanks for watching. Appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time. See ya!